Hey guys and gals, I got another one for you today. Today I'm platooned up with Federian again. And I am in my IS-7, he's in his IS-4. Uh, one of our favorite combination, combinations to play. We are on Scorpion Pass Assault. It's mostly tier 9s and 10s. Each team has two tier 8s on it. Um, <clears throat> Federian lets me know right away that he hates this map. Uh, mostly because it's team dependent, not to mention when you spot in the north. A lot of your teammates will sit in E0 waiting for the choke to lose so they can get sniping shots and stay undetected. Um, however, he realizes that it's an assault mode, um, which kind of changes the forecast of it. And our scouts get advanced. One of the things of, of assault on Scorpion Pass is you want to try to get advanced as possible. Um, if you can get the red team to stop on that back cliff line, um, it's this is one of the more uh, easier assaults to take in the in the game. You see, they already have some tanks in D2, which when I'm defending, that's really where I want to be. Our scouts probably shouldn't fight them two tanks. Rather, just proceed to go to the middle of the map in D5 and spot all their tanks as they come over that ledge. And also I feel like we should have maybe had some heavies or the mediums and the tank destroyer should have went to the middle, got sh side shots into those guys, but whatever. Is what it is. But this is going to change my line of approach here. I want to try to use this uh, humongous piece of cliff. Um, to try to protect me from Artie, and then also if these guys poke out, they're going to shoot me at a strange angle. You see our 705A already got drilled by Artie, and I would like to be in the ditch over there, uh, but they have just way too many tanks here. If they decided to just all in me, there isn't much that would uh, be able to, excuse me, be able to protect me from. <clears throat> Not to mention, that's like an open area for Artie, so. Anyways. T92 just misses me, but gets some nice splash damage. It's not really the damage that he did that's the problem. It's the fact that he broke my gun and I don't have a repair kit. You can see I have my premium consumable and my repair, piece, uh, repair slot. And that's because I feel like people will AG this tank because of the turret and it'll lose um, members, crew members. So I want to keep the med kit um, and then if you get shot in the side you're, or in the butt you're likely to get lit on fire so I don't like to go without my fire extinguisher either. Um, if I stay hull down normally I will uh, be able to protect the modules in this thing but you can't really get hull down from Artie. So E50M pulls out, shut him down, 705A is doing a nice job of side scraping there, pulls out way too far so I get a shot through his drive wheel, Veneri misses his shot on him, and then I don't get his drive wheel because he pulls forward right as I shoot, but I do put it through the side of his tank. Um, it's important when you're shooting at the side of that tank that you get above the track and below the uh, spaced armor that's on the side of that tank. <clears throat> now I tell Thyderian, let's just put HE shells and uh, try to melt this guy for his 152 hit points. And apparently that's not a good idea because he's absorbed two of our HE shells already. And then this STI pulls out way too far. I was going to try to track him with my HE shell, but it hit the dirt. And now this 252U is hauled down behind a dead tank. And I'm going to go for a Coppola shot, but with a broken gun, that's almost impossible. I shoot high, and then I decide I'm just not going to do that. The Defender, or the 252U, isn't really looking at me. Um, we do have a scout behind us now. You see the bullet came in towards Thyderian from behind. And our team is pretty much all but melted away. Scorpion G shuts down their Conqueror, but their scout kills our 705. I shut down their STI. 
I really like to just take that 705A down. Fed Aaron pulls out, bounces another shell off of him. The defender's out wide, so I feel like if I push in to kill the 705, that the 252U is going to have a shot on my lower plate. Um, and then the 705A side scrapes out to try to shoot Thyderion. I shut him down. Our wizard, one their, their, their scout kills our Scorpion G. And I'm thinking about turning around to help our heavy tank, but I'm hoping that he can just shut him down and take care of him. Now that full health E5 is pulled in here, I don't feel like turning around to deal with the scout. The E5 tracks me, I get a nice shot right into his side. And now it's just me and Thedirian. So our heavy tank failed to kill the scout. The scout actually took him down. It was a tier 8 BK45A. Um, unfortunately, he couldn't get it done. And I get a shot into that 252U. The E5 tracks me. And the E5 kind of hides behind the graveyard. So I'm going to pull out and try to shut that defender down. And I get a shot in him. And then Artie tracks me, doesn't do much damage, but he tracks me and puts me out sideways for the E5, which hits my ammo rack. <clears throat> Not to mention the scout has hit me twice now. Um, so I tell Thedirian that I'm gonna turn around and deal with him, and it's perfect, because he, rather than trying to keep it at long range, uh, he came in tight to, I don't know what he was doing, but we shut him down, and this is actually looking pretty doable. Um, <clears throat> E5 doesn't wanna push on us, and definitely is just trying to bait the Darien out there for Artie. Um, but we kind of have to stay tight into this shell here. But we do have four minutes to make a play. So I let him know that once I'm undetected, I'm going to go around the backside. And right as I do that, there's a patent right there. So I make sure my gun is aimed. I get my shot in the side of him. Had I just stayed put, that patent would have came right up to us. We would have been able to shut him down. All right, whatever. It doesn't happen. Fedirian comes around the corner. I tell him he's got to put kill the T92, um, which he swung and left on all, like 35 hit points. This E5 has no idea how to pen an IS4, which is perfect. <clears throat> and now he's uh, started to load HE, um, and he broke Fedirian's gun. Not to mention his gunner's dead as well. And then I let Thedirian know that he's got to kill that Artie if the Artie comes around the corner. <clears throat> the other Artie splashes the E5, does some damage to Thedirian. E5 once again. Shoots some HE. Thedirian shuts down the Artie and just didn't get his hull turned in time. The E5 gets a shot into his side. And man, had he been able to shut this E5 down, it's a potential one shot for him. Then he's just left one on one against Artie with two and a half minutes left. And that is, that could definitely happen. Oh, what a tight game. Kind of heartbreaking. Well, once again, guys, I've said it before, this is my favorite part of tanks, is when you're with a buddy, a platoon mate, a good player that you found that you get to play with online, um, and you two just hold down a position against all odds, um, and you get to square off and just give Red Team a run for their money. Now, it definitely was a loss, so it, it doesn't rank as high as some of the stands that me and Thyderian have made in the past, but um, it was definitely video worthy. <clears throat> Just wish that we could have pulled that out. Had I not pulled around there to try to flank, I think we would have had it. Um, I still probably would have died, I think, um, but I would have been able to maybe get one more shell out into like the E5 or the RD or something to contribute at least one more shell for the victory. But all for not. Still an intense game. Um, lot of tanks there. Big graveyard. 
<clears throat> Red Team played it exactly how I like to play that. Get up close and personal on that position. Um, and we didn't have a lot of support from the middle, and I think that's kind of where our team lost it. So I did 5,200 damage, I blocked 2,300, assisted for 250. It was a first class, got a high caliber, killed six tanks with a top gun. Um, and Thyderion, he bounced a lot of shells. He admitted that he kind of took too long to switch to heat shells, um, but didn't realize how quickly our team had died. So had he realized that, he would have switched to heat and got us through that situation a little faster. Um, so maybe that would have changed too. Props to the scout. Man, he tore it up behind us. Killed five tanks and 3k damage, tier 9. Their 252U had 2000 damage. I mean, we didn't really give too much attention to him, so he might have got some free damage out of there. Not to discredit him. Um. <clears throat> Gosh, you just really, you look at their team, the Patton that was going to flank us had 4,300 damage, but was way down the chart, so you feel like he was sniping the whole time. Um, definitely clipping off a lot of our team's health, though. And then, on our side, we had a 50B that did 2K. Artie did 2,200. Um, 705, that was pretty much melted at the beginning, ended up almost putting out 2K damage, which is solid. But unfortunately, it wasn't enough. We come up just a little bit short um, from like an epic stand, an epic game. That's really all I got for you guys. I'll stop blabbing. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.